Tonight, wildfires are ripping through Europe and parts of northern Africa. In Spain, 17 fires are raging across the country and thousands are frantically fleeing their homes. This woman saying she's devastated. So far, nearly 400 people have died from the extreme heat as temperatures hit 114 degrees. It's a desperate effort for first responders, working quickly to save lives and homes as neighbors rush to evacuate. Once you can feel the intensity of, of the heat and the wind, that's it. A similar scene in France, where fires are intensifying. 25,000 acres are burning near the famed wine region of Bordeaux. Bonjour. Police going door to door, getting residents out before it's too late. So far, the country is seeing some 12,000 evacuations. The deadly heat wave that's gripping Europe comes at the height of the summer tourist season. In the United Kingdom, a crisis situation in a country where most live without air conditioning. Government officials holding an emergency meeting today. Hello. It's Friday, the 22nd of July, 2050. Two years ago, the UK's National Weather Agency put out this forecast to warn about climate change. Much of England and Wales, highs will be around 40 Celsius. That eerie prediction is set to come true nearly three decades early. The UK is set to hit 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit this coming week. Jose? <coughs> First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you few Akwaf listening in today. I'm back with you with another lesson entitled Remember. The Lord is coming with fire. And you see what's going on around the world with this heat wave, you can pretty much call it the prelude, right? It's pretty much like uh, foreshadowing, you know, the great conflagration that's, that's about to hit the planet Earth by way of those nuclear missiles added along with the, the fire from the chariots. And then you've got, um, you know, the concentrated fire, the laser beams. Then you've got Leviathan the great sea beast that fire breathing sea beast you know so um you know the fire pretty much represents the second death you know because as we know in the days of noah the heavenly father he destroyed the earth by way of a flood by way of water right but he promised noah that he wasn't going to destroy the earth uh, um, via those means again you know but he didn't see what he didn't promise I me mean, but he didn't say that he wouldn't destroy the earth by way of fire right and you know we know that the great day of the Lord is near and um, you know um, you know you heard what the news reporter said what somewhat like around 400 people have died due to the fire I mean not the fire you know the the extreme heat you know but I mean people are struggling in in this heat how the hell are they gonna handle the heat that comes from from those nuclear missiles man because we know pursuing to Revelation 9 and 16 that there's going to be 200 thousand thousand 200 million nuclear missiles that's going to be used in world war three and uh, the heat that is emitted from a nuclear missile is pretty much uh if i'm not mistaken it's 10 times hotter than the sun man so if, if, if people can't handle this heat that we're experiencing now or well, how the hell are they going to handle the uh the, the judgment that the heavenly father has got set for this uh for this place right that's why i've been bringing out genesis 4 and 13 quite a bit where you know two-thirds of, of our people the heathen nations and Esau, they're going to be in that, that spirit of Cain, man. Genesis 4 and 13, where their judgment is going to be greater than they can bear, right? You know, um, so, you know, now more than ever, we need to stay in the house, man. We need to stay in the spirit. And, we, you know, we need to not learn the ways of the heathen and continue in the things that we have learned, right? You know, we need to continue in this faith, in this gospel, continue doing this work until we can't do it no more, right? Because look man The time of judgment Is around the corner man You know These are all tokens You see The heavenly father He's, he's really beginning to To you know uh, Visit the earth That he's made Right But our people With all these tokens They still don't want to hearken They still don't want to repent They still don't want to seek their power man So we just have to uh, uh, Leave them to it 
you know and as it says in philippians 2 and 12 we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling right so we ain't got time to be worrying about what two-thirds are doing right if, if, if they can't get this truth they can't get this truth right you know you can you can bring the water to the horse but you can't uh, force it to drink it right so let's get a few scriptures and then we're going to wrap it up luke 12 and 49 i am come to send fire on the earth and what will life it be already kindled right so when yahweh returns you know this uh, uh, the elements are already going to be melting with fervent heat Predominantly the land of uh, Babylon the Great A.K.A. America You know, that, that um, land is going to be completely on fire, man You know, and, and Yahweh Shai He's going to come with that extra fire You know, the, the, the concentrated fire From those nuclear missiles, right? So, this is, you know The, the adverse weather that we're experiencing currently Is, is, is pretty much foreshadowing the events that are soon to touch uh sorry excuse me that are soon going to touch the planet earth man you know these are all signs of the times and oh yeah you heard what um excuse me you heard what the news reporter said the the weather that we're experiencing now was something that they predicted would come to pass around 2050 right but it is three decades earlier than when they expected because you see these Edomites, their, their inward thought pursuant to Psalms 49 is that their um, houses uh, shall continue forever, right? They don't believe in the second coming. They don't believe that the Lord is, is really about to judge this place, even though, you know, uh, there's, there's too many tokens at this point, man. We've got the adverse weather. We've got, um, we've got the chariot sightings. We've got um, strange apparitions and um, uproars of the people. Uh, famines and things of that nature right the the crash the decline of um society you know so these are all tokens of the of the times that we're living in right but you know so as as the news reporter said this uh the, the, the adverse weather the extremely hot weather that we're experiencing uh according to their timing is three decades earlier than they expected it man so you know we really are living in the last of the last days man you know there's only a few major prophecies that we're waiting for uh revelation 13 and 16 on down you know the m to the o to the t to the b the c hit the, the you know the grain of rice that is trying to stick in uh and in, uh, uh you know in all of us the whole world right and then uh, uh world war three Armag armageddon or in the hebrew tongue hamagad one you know, and then the return of our saviour, how was I? So we're almost home, man. This is literally the last lap. We just need to continue in the things that we've learned. And, you know, Lord willing, we endure until the end and, and we shall be saved, man. All right. Let's go to the book of Malachi, chapter four and one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And yeah, oh, sorry. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that shall cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And we're seeing this happening on a small scale right now. You know, have a look at this picture right here. What's going on in Portugal? And, and you know, the same thing is happening in various parts of Europe right now. Right. Um, so um, it, it's all about gradualism. You know, things are just going to slowly build up until... It's that ultimate day of fire where, you know, the nuclear missiles, you know, the 200 million nuclear missiles are used. And, you know, with that added fire from the from the chariot, Leviathan, the great sea beast, or, you know, it's, it's about to go down, man. You know, there, there's no denying that we, we are in the last of the last days, right? Malachi 4 and 2. But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stool. Because, you know, um, Yahweh Shai and the holy angels, they're coming to do two things, right? They're coming to destroy this uh, wicked society, the wicked of this society as well, and to deliver the elect. And Lord willing, we be a part of the elect that will be delivered from, from uh, the perilous times to come, man. And, you know, we believe uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That he's going to give us uh, 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 spiritual power in these last days, man, to uh, 
overcome the wiles of the enemy and you know to, to to overcome all those that hate us man all those that come up against us because we know pursuing to second Ezra chapter 16 and 70 there's going to be a great insurrection against the men of the lord right so we're going to need that spiritual power man you know uh we're gonna let me get uh zachariah 12 and 8 in that day shall the lord defend the inhabitants of jerusalem and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as david right we know david he was a he was a mighty man of war man david had spiritual power read psalms chapter 18 right that will prove to you that david had spiritual power and so did his mighty men right so um and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as david and the house of david shall be as god psalms 82 and 6 psalms 82 and 6 says for ye are gods and ye are all children of the most high right let's talk about the israelites you know that and that's going to start with the elect Zechariah 12 and 8 as the angel of the Lord before them so you know we're, we're you know our hope and our faith is that in these last days to come the heavenly father he's going to raise up the hopeful elect to that spiritual power man to be able to ward off our enemies and to overcome all the wiles of the devil right you know because we're heading into some very serious times man even though you know that's contrary to popular belief because everyone is in that mirth spirit living their best life not paying attention to the tokens you know that's why pursuing to second peter chapter 3 and uh and 10 it reads but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night right it's going to come as a thief in the night to two-thirds of our people the heathens and, and these edomites man because they're not looking uh uh they're not acknowledging the signs of the ta the, the signs of the times man you know in, in the which the uh, heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up right and as i said we see this happening on a small scale right now right but we know uh, that the heavenly father he's all about that gradualism right everything is a is a gradual process right i mean think of a seed a seed starts off as a small thing and then it can grow into a you know a, a great tree you know so that's exactly what's happening here you know it's, it's, it's gradualism on the on the right hand side so all these little wildfires that we're seeing now is going to turn into you know complete uh complete fire like you know the land of america is going to be uh, completely on fire man uh, during world war three when those nuclear missiles are shot from the north to the east to the south to the west that land is going to be completely on fire man you see let's go to revelation chapter 7 and verse 1 um and after these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and that wind represents the destruction right verse 2 and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice um, to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And you know, second Ezra 9 and 1 tells us to measure the times diligently man and you know considering everything that's going on across the four corners of the earth you know the elect have to pretty much be sealed at this point man you know there, there's so much judgment going forth right now and look let's read verse 3 again right this angel said hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees but look the trees are getting hurt man look at that these great wildfires right the earth has been destroyed so is the sea right till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads right so the, the elect pretty much has to be sealed at this point right lord willing we be a part of the elect right 
Verse 4 And I heard the number of them which were sealed And there were sealed 144,000 Of all the tribes of the children of Israel Right And then it goes You know when you continue reading on It speaks about You know the 12,000 from each tribe The 12,000 men that is But then if you go down to verse 9 After this I beheld and lo A great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamp clothed with white robes and palms in their hands because we know that the elect is, is uh, also spread out throughout the four corners of the earth right let's quickly prove that in uh the book of jeremiah uh, i think it's in chapter 16 just a second Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14 and it reads therefore behold the days come saith the Lord that it shall no more be said the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of of Israel from the land of the north what's the land of the north the land of, of the north is North America right Babylon the great virgin daughter of Babylon right and from all the lands whither he had driven them okay so that goes into that that's going into that great multitude and I will bring them again into their land Israel that I gave unto their fathers right so the great multitude is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, right? You see? And some, some of us even look like, like, like the other nations Because obviously, you know, our, our, uh, you know how Jake is We like to, to, to mingle our seed, you know We like, to, we like variety We like, we like um, um, the women of the other nations as well, right? So you've got Jake's out there looking like Edomites You know, and they could be a part of the elect Okay? Or looking like, like Ammonites or or, or uh, uh, Elamites or you know um, uh, Moabites just to name a few right let's close out here in Revelation chapter 21 and 7 he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his power and he shall be my son and you know we are hoping that we overcome all these things man you know it says in, 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 in the Bible that, you know, if, if you come to serve me, prepare our soul for temptation. And we're always going to be tempted to go off, to go back into the world, to just give up this truth. You know, because, you know, people think that oh, things are taking too long or, you know, you know how, how these unbelievers are. Right. So we just got to pray that Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai keeps their spirit on us until the very end, man. And that we enjoy until the very end. You see, um, verse eight. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So all these great fires that are happening across the world because of, you know, the great heat. That we're experiencing this is pretty much foreshadowing uh um you know the 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 great conflagration that's about to befall the planet earth right by where those nuclear missiles uh, uh that concentrated fire from the chariots and you know um, um on top of that leviathan right that great sea beast that fire breathing sea beast right so you know hopefully this le this lesson was edifying and until the next time i say shalom